My name is Michael Joseph Savage. I was born in Australia, 23rd of March, 1872, to Irish Catholic parents. My early years were hard. My mother died when I was five, and I was raised by my sister Rose. She died when I was just 19. I sailed to New Zealand on the Manuka in 1907 and moved to Auckland. Politics was always my first love. I played a key part in the establishment of the New Zealand Labour Party, formed in 1916. By the 30s, the country and the world were in the grip of a terrible depression. Hundreds of thousands of people were out of work, and thousands of families went hungry. I was voted leader of the party when Harry Holland died. In the 1935 election, we were swept into power. We had a mandate for a gutsy program of public spending to snap the economy back into life and provide work. Within a year, the country was climbing out of depression. Workers had money to spend, and that created more jobs. We began to build the many state houses you see in Auckland today. Our cradle-to-the-grave policies redefined New Zealand. Before the campaigning for the 1938 election, I collapsed. Diagnosed with colon cancer, I needed an immediate operation. Well, that wasn't going to happen. We had an election to run and a social security bill to promote. What a campaign. Up and down the country we went. I often spoke to crowds of 30,000 people. It was heady stuff. We were re-elected, and the Social Security Act was on track to become law. I continued to play a full part in running my beloved country, but in August 1939, I collapsed again. I finally had the operation I needed, and from my bed, I led New Zealand to join the British war effort against Nazi Germany, declaring, where she goes, we go. Where she stands, we stand. I died from my disease in March 1940. 200,000 people lined the streets of Auckland to watch my funeral procession. I am buried up on Bastion Point on Nati Fatua land overlooking the beautiful Waitamata. My memorial, still visited by thousands of people every year.